Hello, I am Basilius, and welcome to part, I think this is 22, uh, of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 5. On the last time, we, on the last time, I said that last time. On the last part, there we go. On the last part, um, we continued our war against Spain, and this time I'm planning to finish it. Also, we got an atomic bomb, which I am going to put in the... Uh, Yes. Haha. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. Last time we were we were uh, fighting our war against the Spaniards, and I'm intending to finish it. Uh. Last. Let's go with the last row we had this guy on. Yeah, I think it was the Vilnius. It was. All right. Um. This guy is now utterly useless. I'm gonna go back to our pine room. Wait, or I can buy that tile and get I can steal iron. Yay! Battleship, make your way out. Uh, yeah, both battleship. Do I have a destroyer on hand? I'm gonna need a destroyer. Yeah, this destroyer. I'm taking three turns to make it. Go back to Neapolis. Wait, not no, no. Um, this infantry uh, in Aretium, Vanguard. Now that we have the atomic bomb, Russia and America are going to start having bad times. Oh, German privateer. Interesting. Interesting. Your Gatling Terrifying. I cower in fear. Arabia has adopted freedom. It seems like this is going to be a battle of freedom versus order, and no one's going to go with autocracy. Um, we got a bomber. Helps us out. Cargo ship from Medio Lonum. Continue the trade with Buenos Aires. And we got a nuclear plant here. Let's get some iron works in Dubai. East, the East India Company in Stockholm. And I'm feeling a constabula. No, no. No. Museum. Get a museum. And get a hotel. Okay, we'll have an Also, over here, let's get um, get these cows with the construction of pasture, and let's tell the atomic bomb to sleep. We got bazookas. Yay. Let's get over here and sleep better with that Stockholm. Let's sleep with this destroyer. Alright. I'm pretty sure at this point we have Toledo on the ropes, and victory is at hand. The Spaniards will soon be gone. Forever. Oh, it is a Glorious day this one is. I mean, look, the last of our enemies is a four population city on a hill. With like really terrible. The only reason I'm, I'm gonna keep Toledo is because I want that antiquity site. And well, why not if we get it? Oh, we get marble here, that's nice. And the fish, yeah, we're gonna keep Toledo. Also, they, they follow our religion anyway, so. Culture. I'm feeling we've got enough ideological tenets, because we don't really need any more. Um, let's get one of these. I'm feeling either commerce or honor. Um, melee unit, no. Um, or combats, garrisons, professional army. Yeah, I'm feeling we're gonna go with commerce. We're taking commerce. Alright. So now we've got another little thingamajiggy. Let's get a bank in our pinum. And let's keep 
guarding Toledo. Um, I'm in And the guard. Only one more turn. And let's build a mine over here. Oh, the, uh, did the Arabs find the new city? Yeah, they did. Uh, Kursan. They founded it right over here. Alright. Um, let's build a mine over here, I guess. This bomber will also sleep. Alright, everything's going well. We got high happiness. Everyone's having a great old time within the Empire. All is well. One jungle tile is fine. Battleship was bombarded. Oh, they got a uh, great rider. Virgil. Virgil was a Roman. So therefore, I called dibs. Son of a motherfucker. I called dibs on that great writer because that was historically Roman and therefore I'm going I told him let's do this let's do this bard bard and now goodbye Toledo what's your what's I suppose what's yours is now mine Muy bien. Esta es sin duda la voluntad de Dios y debo aceptarla. Goodbye. For so long, Isabella, you had been a pain in my ass. And now, look, you're gone. I finally got fed up with you, with your constant petty insults. And now look at you. You are a queen of absolutely fucking nothing. I am supreme. Annex. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get Virgil. That sucks, but whatever, I got a new city. Yeah. Props to me. Um This place to get it back on its feet, we're gonna buy some things for it. Um, for example. Uh, I guess let's buy a monument to help it get it back on its feet. Um, harbor in Cordoba. And yeah, let's get an aqueduct in Toledo. I, I want to check the uh, diplomacy now, what the world thinks of me now that I've wiped another country off the planet. I I'm getting a feeling that it's not the best view they have of, of, of me. And Torp and Riga are all allies. I have pretty much the entire continent in my pocket. Save for Russia and America, which remain defiant. Are you are those barbarian brutes? We've discovered rocketry. A good rule for rocket experimenters to follow is this. Always assume that it will explode. That makes sense. Thank you, 1937 Aeronautics Magazine. We got this. Um, boarding party in Minneapolis. I'm liking that. So let's, let's keep the Navy well stationed. This ship will stay in Toledo. Oh, and this battleship will go back to Aretium. Um, yeah. Let's get the Apollo program going. And, yeah. Medical lab sounds nice for Minneapolis. And, yeah. More medical labs. I'm liking this, I'm liking this, a lot. Um, let's get here a, a hotel. All right, Re for, as for my research, I say we get computers and then move into like lasers, robotics, satellites. Yeah, that, that's what I'm feeling. Um, yeah, Alright, so the plan is, um, to get this antiquity site. Um, Catherine entered the modern age. Oh, we're getting denounced. Heard the grim truth about me. I suppose it's not that great a truth about me. I mean, I suppose I just did wipe another country off the fucking map. So, um, yeah. 
you I suppose there isn't a good truth about me, so I guess very well I'm get, I'm going to be lenient. Oh Harun al Rashid the pious. You're gonna look down on me? You know what? Very well. I'll be I'll be lenient. Even though the world is denouncing me. I will be lenient. I'm being denounced by every country is guarded towards me. Um, great musician. Oh my god. <laughs> look at them. They look am that's amazing. Uh, great musician in Neapolis. Where do we need more music? Arpinum, Aretium, Barcelona, I don't know. Madrid needs music. Go to Madrid. No, I didn't want you to do that, Bazooka. Go back. I want you. Yeah, that'll also take five turns, alright. Whatever. Battleship. Stay. Battleship. I don't know. Toledo needs more guarding, I guess. That's all the, really the rationalization I can put behind that. Let's get a zoo in Pompeii because of happiness. We're, I'm pretty sure we're the happiest civilization on Earth. Despite being, um, I guess the only way to describe it, what we are is we're a militaristic communist dictatorship. And we're the happiest country on the Earth. Yes! Soviet Russia has happened! Since Russia adopted um, the order ideology, they've pretty much become the Soviet Union. So, good for you guys. Milan and England are no longer allies. Can I bribe friendship out of you? I can. Now friends with Milan. And that embargo, Germany, and international games are the two things being proposed. I hold the most influence. Second most influence going to Arabia. I'm gonna take the ideological chart really quick. Um. Okay, let's take victory progress. Um, yeah, I control Stockholm and Madrid, the original capital of two different countries. And culturally, I... How do I get any influence over a country that no longer exists? That makes no sense. In I almost have England in my pocket, culturally. Um, culture overview, um, can I check the ideological thing? Is there a thing on ideologies? Um... Espionage? Is that it? Intrigue. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, maybe it's on the, um, this thing. Ideologies. Um, can I look at, yeah, everyone's content. Is there a way to look at the contentness level of other civilizations? I don't know. Let's get an archaeologist. And this atomic bomb... I'm probably never going to have to go to war with Russia because actually maybe I will, but I already have I already have one nuke here, so I'll send this nuke here. All right, this bomber, yeah, everyone stay put. Um, this guy, let's get. Why is it playing the war theme? I'm not at war anymore. It's playing my war theme even. One for uh, Augustus right now. Even though I'm not even at war with anyone, which makes no sense whatsoever. Maybe the game thinks I'm at war or something. Hell if I know. Um, am I at war with anyone? I don't think I am. Um, diplomacy. No, I just guarded towards everyone. So yeah, I'm not at war. It's probably a bug or something. I don't know. Uh, let's get a state. Let's get a broadcast tower. Yeah, broadcast tower. That's like the best idea. Now let's go back to our final with this guy. Next turn. Woo -hoo. Next turn. Battleship. Get over there. Um. You know the weirdest thing. I have no cell phone service near my house. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why. I mean, I live in a. Rather large in the suburb of как тебе понравится, если я предложу такой обмен? Can we 
just have embassies to begin with? Yeah, look at that. I, I don't understand why I don't have any cell phone service near my house. I live in, a, in the suburb of a rather populated city. But, and for some reason, I don't have cell phone service. Like, I, ha I normally have it near my house, but right now I don't. It's weird. I, I don't understand it. Great scientist, didn't seek to none. Um, to do with him, I know not what. No, this guy, Ptolemy. I want to click on Ptolemy. There we go. Um, I could add tons of research, or I could uh, make another science building thing. I'll make a science building thing like this. Build the academy. Guy. You need to get around. Atomic bomb, stay station. This, um, yeah, we'll build a trade post. Let's get a seaport. Yeah, alright. Everything's going well. I mean, we're finally done with our war. Although, I, I suspect that that war was not the last war that we'll have to fight. And that soon we'll probably come to head with America. Or maybe Russia, although I more suspect America are the country who we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with in uh, the end. Oh look, this area finally got connected. Yay, that was bugging me before that it wasn't. But now it is, and I'm happy. You know, this actually would have been a pretty decent city placement. It'd allow us to go through here with ships. I think it would. At least that's how it worked in Civ 4. Because I remember, if you had like a one square thing in um, Civ 4, if you put a city on that, and you had like, let's say you had water, water, and then one tile, and that tile was a city, you could pass through it with a boat. I'm not sure if it works the same way in 5, but I know that's how it worked in 4. Arabia and Germany are now friends, and... England is not on good standing with either of them, which means England has just made a powerful new enemy. And that's not good for them. Go over here. Archaeological thing. Go for it. He ran really fast. Holy crap. Um, but nonetheless... Um... I'm, I'm feeling we should get a nuclear plant in Rome. And a an, a, 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 a seaport in Cordoba. And also, you know what? A lighthouse in Kirke. Or Circe, or still, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that city name. Still don't know. Oh, it's 1990 now. That's nice. And we're just now inventing computers. I, I don't know when exactly computers were invented, but we were probably really behind on this from real life, but maybe by computers it means like the inventing of like modern computers. Um, we killed an American spy. Yeah. Good for you, Special Agent Lakina. You get a cookie. Let's tell our bazooka to, I guess, stand where he is in front of these American Lancers. And, uh, let's get a stock exchange going on to Ravenna. And, um, as for our Pinum, let's get a hotel. Huh. This you finally made it. Create the Great War! That was Symphony number n n number three, Symphony m Symphony number three, with organ, by Camille Saint Science. I cannot pronounce that last name. Holy crap! But uh, nonetheless, um, I'm feeling now is a good place to uh, leave off. So next time. On Let's Play Sid Meier Civilization 5, we'll continue on with this. Um, but as for now, see ya!